pushing passive design. So there are many passive design strategies, passive design strategies which can be adopted in the construction practice which will help in achieving the outcome. Then active design, active design is nothing but already uh, Palni Chami sir talked about artificial intelligence, machine learning and other things. So all these active design strategies needs to be implemented with passive design strategies to achieve the outcome. So what is the outcome you can achieve? You can achieve the outcome without any difficulty, without straining yourself, without making you struggle. Easily you can achieve the outcome of all this thing. Then this is the next part, sustainable construction techniques case study part 3. So here I explained about the materials, selection of materials, then I talked about with respect to the cost, then I also talked about how you can execute the sustainable construction techniques in a overall way. That also I highlighted. Now I am coming to the last part of my presentation that is integrating circular economy and BIM in the same case study building. So here what is the thing we have adopted? Understanding the circular economy and BIM concept through literature survey and design of case building with the design parameters that is a base case. We have taken it as a base. So we have identified what are the component emitting more, what are the component which are consuming more amount of concrete, all these things we have identified by that base case. Then we have done the detailed design and analysis with circular economy alternative modeling with a BIM based tool that provides material parameters and functionalities as the input. So the main thing what is lagging in the present day construction practice is people are not looking into this aspect, material parameters and functionality aspect. You are constructing a building for residential purpose. There is no buyer for purchasing the flat. So what that promoter is doing, he is converting that particular flat for commercial purpose. How it is possible? So that is one of the important things. So we have to look into that and also functionality of each component. What is the purpose of window? Why we are providing circular window? Why we are providing rectangular window? Why we are providing door in that corner and window in that corner? All these things which is necessary, a civil engineer must know before carrying out the activity. <coughs> So that is the thing we have made, provides material parameters and functionality as input. Then comparative analysis and again here also we have done the cost. So we have also done a cost analysis comparison but here we got a positive response with respect to the cost because here we are not considering one particular aspect. We have, we have taken up multiple aspect and we have applied in our case. So we got the positive response, you can see. So this is the next thing that is beams and columns, these are all the component identified, base case and then proposed solution. So what is the proposed solution? As uh, many experts they have pointed out, fly ash, GGBS, graphene, slag, there are many materials are available. So you can go for those kind of materials and you can use it and then proposed solution. So this is the algorithm methodology we have adopted, base case 3D modeling in rivet and material takeoff, cost estimation, 3D modeling in rivet with respect to the change proposed solution and then cost estimation. Then we have also added the circular economy in that particular thing and we have seen how much we can able to save the waste that also we have achieved. So this is the thing you can see that building component and base, base case and proposed solution and uh, you can see this is a final graphical representation of the things. So here we are integrating as Sarah has pointed out in the morning session. So integrating of economy, integrating of environment, integrating of life, integrating of equity, everything is needed so that we can able to achieve the goal of sustainability and sustainable development can be achieved. <coughs> then integrated project delivery, design optimization, waste reduction. BIM integrated with circular economy principle, then design optimization, waste utilization, 
and finally huge amount of waste generation can be reduced and need for sustainable development you can see this arrow also plays a significant role and also you can see sustainable construction practices with proposed alternative cost reduction of 25% but what i told in the beginning the cost will shoot up but what i am representing here cost reduction then you might be having doubts sir how you yourself you told and you proved that cost is shooting up but now you are telling cost is going down the reason behind is i have a pro i have adopted a integrated building construction approach that is the need of the hour integrated building construction approach integrated means that is the things are told you must be civil engineer you must be manager you must be electrical also you must have some basic idea you must be marketing also you must have some basic idea if you are not having all this knowledge then it is very difficult to survive in the outside field that's the thing so benefits of sustainable construction sustainable construction make wise and 50% reduction in energy and improves occupational health comfort landfill waste that are not easily quantified and sustainable building may cost more upfront but saves through lower operating cost building is designed another important thing even in the first case also my finding is sustainable building what i have showed by means of material will cost you more but in long term 10 years return it will fetch lot of benefits but the problem in our country is everything we want fast food we are not ready to cook food now you can see in all the hotels in the weekend you have to stand in the queue people are ready to stand in the queue for one hour but they are not ready to stand inside the kitchen and cook the thing so that is the scenario so this is a simplest way all the resource material energy land water comfort waste management management efficiency everything must be effectively utilized and effectively managed that is integrated approach yeah so this is the recent last part 3 outcome which got published last week so it took 2 years for achieving this outcome it is a very good journal so here we have the entire thing the part 3 what i have presented is based on this study only right so application of bim in conjunction with circular economy principle for sustainable construction so that is a thing fine then we are also doing some collaborative research with some other institution so some of the collaborative studies i will be showing up just 5 minutes madam so these are all some of the we are using e waste in the concrete so initial study is in progress then we are also using industrial waste so presently we are focusing on tannery sludge we have also taken up some studies and we have also published some papers good papers from that tannery sludge how it can be utilized in the concrete not only concrete other options also we are looking into it and uh, this is the outcome initial outcome of the study results and uh, these are all the outcomes and uh, collaborative study outcome so this is the outcome of the study in initial study preliminary study we have done a literature review based on the optimum utilization and resource recovery of tannery sludge a review we have done and we have published this in this paper and this is a study which is happening with respect with uh, satibama university i am collaborating and doing this particular study and uh, this is another one part of the study which i told that initial phase i got published in this particular book chapter yeah so this is a very important thing what is phi r what is phi r so everybody film was over those who are taking rest you can wake up film was over yeah what is phi r recycle reduce reuse then then huh re re that is regenerate right that is another one important thing which is happening now 
right and also refuse and recovery that is we can we can further make it up for some other application so we can convert it in some other form okay regenerate that is we can again produce the same material that is also happening so the very important this is i'm talking about with respect to construction construction not all the materials five are with respect to construction and demolition based construction and demolition based right that's the thing so uh, we have also initiate we have started a new department because this is one of the thing which is need of the hour so mba in environmental sustainability and also mba in sustainable energy management as sir has pointed out in the morning session so energy is the thing which is going to dominate in the near future so we have already taken up the initiative i think madam also will take up this kind of initiative in this institute for making it happen to achieve the goal of net zero because lot of demand is there but no qualified professional lot of demand is there i am telling you already i told you 90% students got placed not in software company all are core companies lot of demands are also pointed out in the morning presentation but no qualified and well trained people in the market thank you any questions and furthermore i hope that we will also release part 4 and part 5 in this so we are trying to adopt some more strategies in that uh, let us see how it is happening any questions Okay, if there is no questions, I will ask you the questions. If you are not asking questions, then I yes, sir. First of all, uh, I should say thank you to you and your institute because uh, you literally backed up the openings that I made in the morning. Exactly, that's the thing I told Madam has properly coined the sessions. Yes, in fact, in my feedback also I have written the same thing. The way the no no don't worry, ma'am. My voice is I people can hear me on the fifth floor. Uh, if anybody is looking at increasing your skills and probably take a qualified or a systematic study and a degree additional to fetch a better job in the industry this is the institute that you can go because uh, i have the privilege of guiding nearly 17 students from nikmar pune okay. they had come to me for uh, uh, internship and i tell you It is not fun in Nikmar. You have to really dirty your hands. And I have guided students from many universities, but people from Nikmar Pune were really dirty in their hands. I mean, that is the mental status they bring you. In an institute, try to get an admission there. I uh, I have got 17 students, Great, and sir. all every, each and every one of them have invited them me for their marriage. They had come to my house for me, and even today they keep on talking. And uh, probably if I say I heard so and so, there will be a lot of privacy. Uh, as he said, most of them are now in last seven, ten years. Most of them are already in middle management. Exactly, and uh, some people because the companies will take the people directly to the middle level. As Sir has pointed out, some company they will take to the upper level also yeah one one person i know his name is shripal shetty i don't know how you might remember uh, he is just about 30 now he heads the entire uh, real estate business real estate valuation of uh, kfc in south india that is the way they are told exactly he is a civil engineer but he manages real estate what kfc does it evaluates the property it looks at the facilities mm -hmm. and then goes on rent there this entire process is done by i mean his civil engineering is narrowed down to a special specialization that is nikma don't leave an opportunity if you want to go and study management and construction 
call upon professor r mathi alagan assistant professor to present a memento to our guest On behalf of Department of Civil Engineering, uh, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, I consider it a privilege to thank Dr. J. S. Sudarshan for taking his precious time off from his busy schedule and honoring us with his presence. Thank you, sir, for the informative session on sustainable construction techniques, which is the need of the hour, which as it paves way to a sustainable future. The session was indeed enlightening and thought-provoking. We look forward to your presence in our future events. Thank you once again, sir. opening your mouth you can't market yourself nobody will notice nobody will notice that is the law you not to the market <laughs> exactly okay whether right or wrong open the mouth then you will learn step by step you will learn because other states students they won't they don't know anything but the way in which how they are reacting will make you to feel that they are knowing all the things that is not happening with our students the reason sir why a 35% up guy is coming and joining as an engineer in chennai and 90% 85%
Chennai or a Tamil Nadu guy is searching for employment. Exactly. Exactly. So, don't, see that's why I ask you to talk in Tamil. Nothing wrong. Open your mouth. I kindly call upon Dr. R. Kumuda, uh, Professor and Head, Department of Civil Engineering, to deliver the vote of thanks. So, good evening to all. Of course, we have some technical presentation session after this, but before that, we'll formally close this uh, uh, program. Uh, so, we will almost come to the end of this uh, two days uh, national conference on uh, uh, smart and energy efficient construction materials and technologies for sustainable infrastructure. So I'm very proud to say here that uh, so we have received a grant of rupees 1.5 lakhs from uh, Science and Engineering Research Board, New Delhi, for, uh, for the conduct of this conference. And I'm very proud that this is the first national conference organized by the Department of Civil Engineering, SPC. So thanks to SCRB and thanks to the management principal, the faculty and staff and uh, students of Civil Engineering Department, uh, uh, for be making this event a uh, uh, grand success in fact. So I must acknowledge few people here because uh, uh, from the day one of the start of uh, the planning of this event, um, so so many people have helped me in the organization of this event. So as you know very well, so we were very busy with uh, accreditation works last week. So we were very busy. In fact, uh, we had the visit on 10th, 11th and 12th by MBA team. So in fact, we didn't think about this conference. So we had lot of we had faced lot of difficulties also in the execution of this work, but still we made it. And I must thank few people here. Uh, so my mentor, Dr. S. Maheshwaran sir, senior principal scientist of uh, Advanced Materials Laboratory, SERC Chennai. And uh, so even though I forgot about this conference many times, he, he always used me used to send me messages through WhatsApp. Madam, what about the progress of the conference? Is there any update? So he used to remind me always about the conference. So that always made me to think, oh, we have to plan this, we have to plan this. So in that way, in fact, we have planned for this conference. So thanks to Dr. S. Maheshwaran, sir, because he has inaugurated this uh, conference with a keynote lecture on uh, sustainable materials for construction and overview. And we had uh, a session by Dr. Mahendra Kumar Madhavan. So he is also another person because whenever I asked him for some help, he was there to immediately support me. Uh, so from IIT Hyderabad, so thanks to him also for his uh, uh, wonderful session on uh, cold form steel, wa uh, steel wall panels for sustainable construction. So thanks to Dr. Mahendra Kumar Madhavan also. And we had a session uh, of course by Dr. S. Praveen Kumar, so who is from uh, PhD College of Technology, Coimbatore. So he has presented uh, in a nice way about uh, the basics of concrete technology and also he has uh, thrown more light on uh, the binders for uh, durable and sustainable concrete. So thanks to him. And uh, of course in the morning, so we had a session by Dr. T. Pandisami sir from NITK Suratkal. So he has also presented uh, a new technology and also the application of the machine learning techniques for uh, the prediction of the strength of the building. So it was really useful for me at least uh, because uh, I just came to know about the application of uh, machine learning technique in civil engineering field. So it was really interesting and useful and uh, of course we have with us Mr. Nagesh Puttaswamy sir who was there with us for the two days. So he was there for all the keynote sessions and uh, he interacted with you people all uh, in the two days. So thanks for his uh, presence on these two days and also for delivering a keynote lecture on uh, energy efficient sustainable infrastructure, creation of sustainable bubbles necessity of cross-functional approach so thank you sir for that 